Hello, everyone. My name is Sevan. I'm a senior product designer here at Epic Games, and my main focus is live events, including fixed digital installs of any kind, form, and shape. Today, I'm super excited to cover what we have in the works for the upcoming 427 release, as well as our vision for the future. But first, I'd like to mention that despite this pandemic, we saw an explosion of projects and initiatives all around the world using Unreal Engine and real-time graphics. We were blown away by your creativity, resilience, and how you guys were able to quickly adapt and reinvent yourselves. We are in a very special and unique industry that has specific requirements and challenges because of its nature. From producing impactful live experiences, mixing reality, to using architecture as a new medium for creativity, it has always pushed the limits, both technically and creatively. We are speaking about producing enormously large and complex projects, often as large as a football stadium, that require an armada of always evolving display technologies, increased resolution, increased image quality, synchronous media servers to work together as a whole, seamlessly with zero downtime. And in addition to that, sometimes in a 24 7 environment, where the screen can never go black. For a long time, and for these reasons, it was dominated by offline rendering workflows and video playback. But today, things are different. Things have changed, and thanks to the many factors, such as the availability and affordability of real-time graphics engines such as Unreal, the tremendous evolution of display technologies and GPUs, and of course, thanks to the leading industry partners and creators such as you, we are able to redefine where this industry is and will be all about. In order to tackle the inevitable challenges of scaling and delivering real-time content across complex displays of arbitrary form, shape, and resolution, Epic Games invested in a unique technology called N-Display, which allows users to scale almost any Unreal-based project across an arbitrary number of PCs all synchronously. And display has evolved through the past releases and in 427 offers a completely redefined user experience where you can now visually import or create your displays, visually define your cluster configuration, and visually map your viewports and GPU outputs. In addition to that, users are able to preview those changes all in real time within their project. A new C root actor centralizes and exposes all those attributes so they can be externally driven and controlled such as with the new remote control plugin. On the I.O. front, a system for live performances wouldn't have been complete without the support of DMX. So we added DMX and lighting fixture system support to Unreal a few releases ago. Users can ingest live DMX streams into Unreal for building ultra-realistic digital twins of their live events project. The DMX previous sample has been released for 426.2 and has been designed in partnership with Moment Factory, and is a fantastic example and testimony to how Unreal can be used to produce realistic previs of live performances, which in this case is both real and virtual. In addition to that, we now have sequencer support, which enables users to record and future playback their DMX streams. Also, the new pixel mapping feature, which is now beta, allows you to control low-resolution panels or matrix fixtures, by fetching the scene buffer or any live texture in order to generate the required DMX data with high performances. Today, and since 427, Unreal offers a broad range of features, ranging from supporting protocols like timecode, MIDI, OSC, and DMX, all compatible with remote control and clustered rendering. Our vision is that Unreal Engine becomes not only the backbone solution for the new generation of AV systems out there, but to redefine the industry workflow around real time, from design, previs, content production, all the way to on-screen content delivery. Our dream is to enable limitless creative ideas, regardless of display or screen complexity, and to connect the virtual world to the real world bringing the metaverse concept one step closer. 